to today's video. Hope you guys are having an awesome Tuesday. We are having a summery day. A summery day. It's going to be 32 degrees today. Last night we had another barbecue with my son and oh, and it was so super fun. We got to spend time with him again. I told you this year is going to be about family and I'm excited. Last night Sophie found something so crazy and I want to show you guys. Oh, you guys know I've been complaining about the snakes on our property and like, we don't have anything else just snakes and sophie found a hey, no molly no molly no molly's molly. like i want to eat it sophie found this snake skin completely intact there's the face and it goes all the way down all the way down and then there's the tail like so clear and so in perfect condition but that is like the size look that is the size of the snake. The head's really cool. You can see where the eyeballs yeah. were. You can, yeah. Is wow. It? You can see where the eyeballs were. Can you guys see that? Cool. All came off in one piece. I think like we should try and preserve this because it is spectacular. Scary as heck, but spectacular. Yeah, I showed it to you. Yeah. To you. And then you didn't notice that at first and you jumped. Yeah, it scared the heck out of me. Thought she was carrying a snake. My son Nick has been cutting a bunch of firewood and he's and gonna... He got this big log. Yeah, and he brought us this big log. He found it. Uh, somebody had cut down a tree and he asked him if he could have this stump for cutting wood. So he's now in the cutting wood business for us. This is our first heart of the day. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a heart shaped... It's a heart shaped puddle. A very clear heart. I don't know if you guys... I don't think it's very... I can't tell on the camera if you guys can see it. In fact, there's a heart here and then right there in the shadows is another heart. It's a heart within a heart. It's so crazy. Where's the shadow heart? Here, back up a bit. You can kind of see it there. Oh, I see your shadow. So uh, that is a, a reminder. I, every time I see a heart, it's like a reminder for me to be kind. Be kind, you guys. Just try and all be kind to one another. All right, so there it is. I tried to like kind of flatten it out so that it dries because I think it's going to dry. Look at that little head though. And I really want to give this to my grandson. I think he'll think it's really cool. I've been to museums before where they have partial snake skins kept on display. And I think that's such a cool specimen. We are home today. I'm excited to be home today. There's so many things that we need to get done around our property. What's your dream, Sophie? Sophie, just wait. Sophie's about to tell us what her dream for her equestrian life will look like. What's your dream, Sophie? I have to have a herd of miniature ponies. She wants a herd of miniature ponies. What they're would you do? They're all gonna jump without, with hands, and they're all gonna be as cute as Willow, and yeah. they're all gonna be biting Gracie's bucket like this. <laughs> Willow's like, I will eat your bucket, Gracie! <laughs> See? <laughs> No, she's never done that before. We just groom them, brush them, and pick their feet, which is my pick favorite thing feet. to do first thing in the morning. Just their body. I absolutely love Gracie, and I wanted to tell you guys something about Gracie. Someone in the comments yesterday said, like, why can't you? But first of all, look, she's standing in line. <laughs> she's like, I will be first. Um, why can't you find a rider for Gracie? And I feel that too, like, Gracie is so young and has so much potential and is is so good. But when we first got Gracie, the reason that they sold her was because she wasn't doing well. She was, she had had time off and she was really spooky. She went through the stage where she'd be like riding well, riding well with all these little kids on, on her. And then all of a sudden she'd hear like a bang or a plane or a noise and poof, she'd just take off. So she became, not the best lesson pony. So then they sold her to me, um, thinking that she would do better maybe if she just had like a family. And she did. She like it was she was like that for a good six months. Like we'd all be in the arena and then poof, something would happen and she would just fly out of the arena. She stopped doing that after about six months. I feel like she's ready now. Like I think she's really ready and she's proven to be 
amazing. She still is a little pony and she still needs a specific rider. Like Brooklyn couldn't handle her on her own and she's not like that kind of a lesson pony. But I do feel like she needs a rider. Like I absolutely do. So I think I found somebody that could handle her and that's small. I just don't know if it's something that they'd be interested in. It's like riding her and stuff, bringing her into the... Oh, did you get my halter? Oh, wow. That's so good, Sophie. Sophie got them all ready. Even you. Oh. <laughs> She's like, of course I'm ready. We're all going outside. And Sophie is the new Gabby. Remember when Gabby was 12? Oh, here comes Gabby. Wow. Nice of you to join the party, sister. Look, Penny's like getting in line. <laughs> She's like, I'll let my ponies go first. But remember, Gabby used to lead two horses and... Now it's Sophie. Bella's got grass or hay on her belly. How did that happen? All right, we'll meet you guys out there. Yesterday, Gracie took everyone for a wild goose run, goose chase. Oh, Gabby backed out. Sophie's taking both. All right, <laughs> Sophie gets out of the way. She's like, what will today bring? Of course, today I have the camera here. They're like, I'll just sit here and eat grass. There's a lot of grass in this field, a lot of hay for three ponies. <laughs> it's not hay, it's grass. No, it's hay. So I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you guys so much for all the kindness in the comment section. Oh, it's been you. amazing. All the kind suggestions. People saying, now that Sophie learned to lunge. Ew, get it off me. Ew, I Google. Oh. Now that Sophie's learning to lunge, thanks to a, a gentleman at our barn, that you should lunge him over poles because that will really help build his muscle. Walk, trot That's over poles. That's what the guy said. Yeah, so also. He used to always lunge his horse over a jump. So I like, it would figure out how to pick him Probably up. No way. Yeah, so we still have work to do. She has still work to do to figure out how to work all that. But she's doing so much better. And um, the other thing I wanted to say is that it was like I had tears editing the video last night like mm -hmm. that man that helped Sophie like sitting there as a parent and watching someone take time from their day to show someone a child how to to do stuff like that's just so beautiful to me and it's the same with trainers like I just feel really grateful and happy to be a part of a community to be that that is that is so amazing like the community that we have here like all the show community and the coaches like everyone supports everyone so strongly and i just am so happy to be a part of such an incredible community like our community is so respectful and kind and and i just i don't know i just feel grateful and seeing the way our coaches are at the shows and how they're guiding us and seeing that guy help Sophie. This really made me tear up and think like, wow, how amazing is it that our children get to participate in an environment like this? And it just made me really happy. So anyway, that is it for my update. Yeah. It's surprising. Yeah. She <laughs> Daisy's here. <laughs> Usually yeah. she doesn't like to stay in the yeah. barn. She doesn't understand it. Like being able to see how her being deaf is made her such a different dog like she doesn't like she situations where she doesn't she can't figure them out like she comes down to the barn we take care of the horses and then she goes and sits on the porch <laughs> because she wants to go back inside but she stayed today or she lays down behind the tall grass yeah i want you all to have blessings and to feel like each and every day is a blessing so go out there find the good things not the bad focus on the good it's only when we focus on the bad that it turns our day completely around and changes the perception of how we want to feel when you focus on bad it makes you feel bad when you only focus on the good it makes you feel good and so many of you guys have taught us that so i brought all the jump stuff in because we're trying to clean up this area again and I noticed that this big bush, whenever I look out to check on the horses from the window, this huge bush is taking over the barn. So I had to trim it down and now we're gonna cut all this stuff. Get rid of all these branches so I can see the barn from the house. But literally this stuff grew up so fast. Like it just came out of nowhere in the last few days and just exploded and blocked my view of the barn. It is so super hot and I want to try and get all of this stuff done before the heat of the day. So I have Gabby on poop detail. 
Laura on poop detail. Sophie on grass cutting detail. I don't know if you guys can see her. <laughs> I find that it's finding the jobs that everyone likes to do and that everyone's good at that makes us all work to our full potential. Sophie enjoys cutting the grass. And you guys have seen in the past, my kids argue about so-and-so hasn't done the same amount of work and stuff. But I truly do believe, yay, guys, Sophie said, I just did it. I got the lawnmower going. But you got, but I do honestly find that it's in finding the jobs that suit each person that helps them work to, the, to their fullest potential. Should everybody do every job when you have horses and, com and, and contribute? Absolutely. But as a team, we work best when we all have a job that we that we do well. And I want you guys to know that when I share things about how the way we do it, that if you do it differently, I'm not trying to say that you're doing it wrong. I fully think that we should all do what works best for us. And when I'm sharing our way, it's just because I'm sharing it. I'm not judging anyone else and saying their way is wrong. I know there are so many different ways and as ho horse owners, we all have to find what works for us, especially because we all are geographically different. We all live in different areas and we all have different things that work best for our horses and we have to respect that about each other. And I do. Like, I know in the comments, some of you guys have said that you think that our horses should be on grass full time. And for us, it just hasn't worked out to be in their best interest. At one time, we had grass growing in this little winter paddock that we have. And our vet has told us we need to cut it because Willow, a couple of years ago, got really obese and he feels that it is better to stop a problem from happening than it is to deal with a problem after it's happened. She's getting older in age and obesity on her, a miniature horse, could have detrimental effects. And we are able to keep Penny's weight a really great healthy size for her by managing all the horses by taking them on and off the grass fields and so that works for us and that might not work for you and it might not be what your vet wants you to do and it might not be in the best interest in your horse to do it that way I definitely think everyone should do what works for them without judgment and without criticism and I don't want to be the person that makes someone else feel like us choosing to do something that works for us against um, instead of choosing to do something that works for you as a way to criticize you. I don't mean it that way and I don't want people to feel like they're being criticized by us choosing a different way. And I know some people do and that makes me sad. But anyway, I want you guys to know, do you, do your horses the best way you can and utilize your own teams that you have, your vets and your chiropractors and your, your other pe and your coaches and your massage therapists. Second heart of the day. So last night, Sam, I taught Sophie how to use the riding lawnmower for real and cut the grass around the house, and she did such a good job. I'm taking over the vlog yet again for the first time in how many years has it been since I was 11? How old? 15, because I'm 16. 15 years? <laughs> Five. Uh, the lady <laughs> next to me is looking at me really funny because I have a camera up the eyes. It's not as bad as your math. How many years since I'll... Since Guys, we're not gonna talk about that. 50. Laura, cut that out, please and thanks. <laughs> um, so, we're at the mall. I uh, officially have my G2. Um, got my own little car. The lady next to me is in an Audi. Maybe she'll adopt us. Um, clearly she's rich. But we're gonna go shopping. I'm gonna film what Gabby and Sophie get or try on or see because Laura put me in charge which she probably shouldn't have done but this camera's about to die and Laura didn't give me another battery so you might not get to see anything bye so we're back in the car um we didn't film because <laughs> I forgot yeah Sorry. Kelly forgot she put it in my backpack and did I got a Samsung Sophie Sorry Wait, you did oh my god Sophie got this Oh, in the mystery bag. I was like, in why would you buy that? In the mystery bag, how cute. Cause she has a Samsung to fit that, totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I like my bag so far. Yeah, Just opening I it gave up. her my bag. I have some fuzzy socks. These are actually really cute. I can't even open it. Scrunchies. Oh, ooh, I got scrunchies too. Oh, I got a phone ring. Phone ring? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. It's like a pop socket. I got these like velvet scrunchies. And Dangly earrings, three pairs of them. Those are hot. 
Um, I got these clips which are really good for like pinning my hair back when I'm doing my makeup or washing my face. Is this for socks? socks? Oh, you're oh my god, we all get like the same thing. <laughs> I got dangly earrings. I got pink. This and then scrunchies. Does anyone know anyone who has an S8 Samsung phone that would be interested? It's <laughs> you can have for free actually. I got Message scrunchies and stuff. Of phone Message me <laughs> at texting Kaylee on Instagram. Oh my god, Sophie's earrings are cute. Wait, 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 let me see. Oh, can we steal them, Sophia? No, why? You don't wear them. I am actually in love with these socks. Oh, these are actually so cute. They're so fuzzy. You want these socks? What'd you get? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, mom would like those. Yeah, I guess. Look at mine. Oh, those are sexy. <laughs> What's this? A headband? Yeah. Fuck, I mean, also got this really cute headband. Alright, uh, we also got food. Gabby got another thing, but we're not sharing it with the camera. And yeah, Oops. Sophie got a couple fidgets. Gabby also got like a boba tea thing, which is kind of cool. Which we're gonna try out, which we'll probably film once we have a battery. Anything else we got? Oh, Sophie got some really cute clips. Oh, am I supposed to show the camera? Oh, Sorry. Are, oh. Sophie's sitting there like, can you like take <laughs> these for me and show the camera, please? Those are actually really cute. Um, so but I'm, the camera's about to die, so the white we'll one. get a battery yeah. and we'll show you the rest when we get home, I guess. Don't you know that you're beautiful?